Hello engineers today i am going to discuss about knowledge business how why the knowledge business is very important for engineers as i looked at all kind of engineers and i categorized the engineers depend upon their present way of engagement their work so all this category there seven category i have created in that first one is engineering entrepreneurs second one is uh, working professionals third one is uh, freelancers then fourth one is retired engineers then fifth one is uh, engineering uh, or technical teachers and trainers then uh, fresh engineers and the other one is engineering students so this is the seven categories i created as the different stages of their knowledge sharing uh, their uh, their engineering life uh, looking at this uh, i felt that every one of these people must get into the knowledge business why because one of the reasons i found is that knowledge business is that the thing that we have to start that can uh, help the person to generate income so income is very important when he, they have high income growth then whether he get into the business of the same technology he will be successful otherwise business people what they generally do they start a, they start with others money or they have to raise the money so this may create problem in later stage so to avoid that if he can start with his own money better way to start is through the knowledge business the second category of people is working professionals even though they have lot of engineering expertise they are not able to earn more money because they are following a particular system or path or that of the company is working so the salary or the remuneration is going to get is limited so in that case if he has a knowledge business a part time he can earn a lot of money from that also that is high income growth for working professionals the third category of people called freelancers even though they are doing different kinds of engineering work as a freelancers if we come they come to the knowledge business they can earn a lot of money not only that it can also create more connections with the uh, uh, the people in this uh, field they are working so we can uh, bring them more business uh, as a freelancer um, addition to that they have also have a decent income from the knowledge business then the fourth category of people i told is the retired engineers so retired engineers as it is they have decided uh, they are not ready to give uh, take up a lot of uh, heavy work with a lot of engagement of time so uh, they have uh, going to that kind of mode so for those people uh, knowledge business is the best option they have the the resource that is their knowledge and expertise on a particular field they were working for all these service years so when they go into the retirement stage this is the best time they can share their knowledge share their experience to the world and that is not for free they can have in a proper knowledge business structure they can earn a lot of money and it will be uh, really helpful for the society and also for his retirement life so this is the you know fourth category of people they may uh, uh, look for a knowledge business in in their second half of the business second half of the innings or the life then third cat uh, fifth category of the people i have uh, discussed is that the technical teachers and trainers because uh, i even though they are working functional in most of the cases they may have some people doing the private tuitions and all those thing uh, for those kind of people uh, if they get into the uh, knowledge business so that is the uh, the kind of business for engineers the knowledge system i created for engineers is true technical resource utilization experts business true business model So that is a true growth model i called for engineers so where i am teaching how they can monetize their expertise as a teacher and also how they can create multiple streams of income out of their uh, expertise so it it may be uh, <clears throat> a better than a conventional way of teaching it can uh, imp- they can impact more people and also they can have a a uh, uh, decent very very decent income from the knowledge business so this is the fifth category of people why they should go for uh, the knowledge business and then we have the sixth category of people that is fresh engineers and most of the time the engineers comes out the main problem they face is that they have not most of the pe- most of the engineers who comes out they have a general degree but they will not be having any focus on the expertise on that they want to work so if they get into the knowledge business especially the true growth model what i have created the people can uh, the engineers can 
build up their career on a particular technology or a particular expertise. In that, he can start with the knowledge business. Even though if you want to go for manufacturing or service support or any other kind of uh, things that related to the technology, first, better he start with the knowledge business. It can help him to create uh, more income so that he can lead the life, do the work as per his wishes. Even if he wants to go for uh, for a job also, if he have the focus on a particular knowledge and technology, it's a very high chance that he can get a better job. And also parallelly, he can continue the knowledge business also. There, uh, there can be an option for him also, or he can even take up the knowledge business as his main uh, uh, career or the function. And the last category of the people I told is that engineering students. So why engineering students? They just got into the engineering college. So now itself, whether they have to work on any business, the knowledge model what I created is that true growth model is for engineers. And in that I have want engineering students also to join because when they get into that kind of system, they can understand the importance of becoming an expert in a particular uh, topic that is very important in the engineering studies. So that only can bring them better income. And more than that, their learning will be starting from solving a problem. Then he are getting ready to solve some kind of problem in the later stage of the life based on what he studied. So the beginning itself, the engineering students can decide this is the expertise I want to uh, want to be developed. This expertise I want to be developed in my in me. And in this way, I want to serve the market. And this is the problem I want to solve. So definitely he will get more focus on his studies and he will be doing brilliant work while uh, he study. So this also, his research, other than the, his normal college, uh, college lessons, he will have that kind of interest to learn more things related to that particular topic. And he can be an expert into that topic before he passed out from the engine. Even he can start teaching because the knowledge system the true growth model for engineers is that it's that whatever the knowledge you acquire you find a way to teach someone and definitely when that te teaching has got some good values there will be people to ready to take it for uh, ready to give in return uh, monitor help you monitor so this is the the way that we have to create an education system in the engineering colleges but presently when we want to match up with the present uh, education system if the engineering students join for this true growth model in this true growth model what i have created and if they start uh, doing their focus on a particular engineering topics definitely their future is going to be extra extraordinary so that, that's why i want the engineering students also get into this true business journey so this is the seven category of engineering people uh, because most of the engineer people will come inside that so some people in the working functions we have different kinds of like scientists and all those kind of things then they will be uh, freelancers or scientists or personal private scientists and all kind of categories will be there but generally if we want to put uh, all uh, kind of uh, engineering uh, people into some category of uh, depending, depending upon their working status uh, this can be the seven categories so for all these seven category of people the knowledge business has a certain advantage a very good advantage actually so that's why i created the true growth model for engineers so uh, i just want to introduce myself i am pradeep kumar kp this is my channel this is uh, regarding the engineers growth so i have the i am the creator of uh, true growth model this is a systematic and structured and result oriented knowledge system for engineers to achieve high income growth and happy living with a purpose in their life if you want to know more about uh, this uh, program, you may look at the description uh, for the link. So, uh, so I hope that you got the importance of going to a knowledge business that for engineers is its true business. True stands for technical resource utilization experts. So every engineer, I consider them as the technical resource utilization experts. For that also, what is these technical resources I have created? Some category of uh, that we have uh, uh, different types of uh, resources. So in that uh, they can find out what is their resource on which they want to be an expert.
so it's going to be a, a very interesting uh, journey for engineers because generally engineers are are are, are not very clear about uh, about uh, creating the money how they and uh, and, and most people are just um, highlighting they are techno technical but they are not really uh, most of the times because they are not focusing on on a particular things and uh, they are not getting uh, going to be an expert into that field if they are not going to be an expert in that field being an engineer is there is no meaning because if somebody ask okay i i tell an i am i i, I if i show show case myself an, an engineer and many times people will put you into in a, a sarcastic uh, situation uh, when if you are uh, if you are if you are going in a car and somebody sometimes if it can break down if the people people will expect from you that you are an engineer why can't you repair it so instead of that you can project yourself not an, an engineer an engineer and a, an, an expert on this particular thing if I are, you are an expert in automobile then very well you can repair it if you are an expert in a building construction i'm good at the building constructions and i am good at in the refrigeration i can i'm good at this uh, artificial intelligence now even you cannot uh, generalize that also even artificial intelligence what is the special things that you can do in that in the missionary what you can do or uh, what the particular type of missionary you can handle so uh, then going as a gentleist if you are going as a specialist it will be a great advantage to you and also having that knowledge very important to develop that knowledge and also to communicate to the world about that knowledge or the expertise and and the most important thing is that how to monetize that expertise or the knowledge so for the engineers uh, this is the best model i can suggest that is the true, true growth model and uh, you can uh, look for the details and as uh, you may or regular viewer or you already subscribe this channel well and good if you are not yet done please subscribe this channel it's uh, always i am putting something from my heart and also what i worked out for engineers for their growth so thank you very much thank you very much please come back again see you again namaste